After months of searching, the suspected Medford arsonist is now in jail. But the destruction left behind by the fires is still far from fixed. One Southwest Medford resident says there is more to be done to keep arson from happening in her neighborhood again. We have made an arrest in that string of arson fires that we've been talking about for a long time. Maria Rodriguez first heard the news of Manoa Hall's arrest Saturday afternoon. Rodriguez lives next door to one of the five vacant Medford homes. Police say Hall is responsible for setting on fire. No sabíamos de dónde venía eso. Rodriguez says she, her family and neighbors lived in fear not knowing who was responsible for the arson on their street in February of 2013. The Southwest Medford resident says she is glad to see law enforcement works to keep crime out of her community and says it's unfortunate her entire neighborhood gets a bad rap que a veces nos tienen por una mala zona. because of bad decisions made by only a few people when the truth is residents in this area are hard-working people trying to make a good living. We're hoping that the fires will decrease. We're hoping this will be a, a slower year and we're hoping that we have the person that was responsible for mo most of these. Rodriguez agrees with firefighters but says though this arson case may be solved, she hopes to see the issue of vacant homes fixed soon. Que las gentes que tengan... Saying homeowners need to be responsible for their houses because a lonely home attracts vagrants and harm. Hall is facing multiple charges, including arson and counts of criminal mischief, as well as delivery of methamphetamine charges. Police have spent months collecting evidence in the case, including videos they say Hall took of the fire. This YouTube clip, clip shows firefighters and emergency responders arriving on scene to put out a fire last year. Police say Hall had a fascination with fire trucks and trains.